Well, here we go. This is the brand new Mercedes-Benz E53 AMG. This comes in graphite, metallic, gray, and it is a beautiful looking car. Now, it isn't the first E53, of course, predecessors included the saloon version and the estate version but here this year we have the coupe and then there is also a cabriolet version as well tell you a little bit about the engine it is an inline straight six 435 horsepower 500 newton meters of torque comes from that lovely amg engine and it'll get you up to 100 kilometers in 4.4 seconds and it is limited to 250 kilometers an hour It is, of course, a twin turbocharged, and of course, it is a four-matic, a four-wheel drive. Now, this particular car comes with 82 standard options as an AMG. This one has 22 additional options, such as the Black Knight Edition. Well, the Knight Edition, I believe it's called, which kind of blacks out the uh, the side mirrors and the uh, and the wheels and then of course it has the very distinct uh, AMG grille. Uh, starting price is $107,000. Um, this particular model is about $129,000. Now let's have a look around this lovely Mercedes-Benz E53 AMG, shall we? Well, let's um, down to the piece de la resistance. Let's pop this hood. This is the magnificent block here, the 53 E53 engine. It is, of course, a three liter, 435 brake horsepower, which produces 520 Newton meters of torque in the inside of the E53 AMG. And of course, everything you would expect from such a caliber of a car is in here, beautifully appointed, lovely high quality leathers and stitching and that kind of thing the steering wheel in particular is something i like you can have two different options or rather three different options you can have leather a microfiber dynamica or a mixture of both which i have here and you can actually have three different types of steering wheel as well and on top of the steering wheel on the steering wheel rather you do have a lot of options here so for example on the left side you can press the home button here and with the little mouse pad type thing you can control your navigation your phone your amg performance your trip your radio your media uh, and the styles of display that you might like to have um, on the right side again you press that and then it controls the big infotainment mbux system that sits to the right side of you you have this great big screen right in front of you you have a couple of interesting options here too the heated steering wheel comes as an option don't think you need it here in the gcc but also you have sensors here because of course we know that mercedes is almost an autonomous car you can just about let it drive itself although it's not legal these days so it actually has a uh, sensor here if you happen to have your distronic cruise control uh, controlling the car and kind of making sure you don't veer off the lanes and you happen to take your hands off for a little too long the emergency brake system will kick in to make sure that you don't crash into anything but apart from that interior you have your mbux here the latest one of course the touchpad here that controls everything and it comes with all the trimmings and of course this is the particularly interesting one you have the track pace app here that can activate only on use on closed roads thank you very much and here you can do everything from a drag race to telemetry to different kind of options that will uh, kind of make let you push this AMG E53 until your heart is content. And then there is another AMG performance option here, and that gives you details about your engine, your vehicle, your consumption, and the dynamic select setting that you might want to choose.